Tonight on the Friday free game feature, we have Void Pyramid. You are imprisoned in the Void Pyramid for crimes against the Prime Pharaoh. This dungeon hurtles through the outer space deep void. Criminals and beasts prowl its labyrinthine chambers. You must defeat the demon warden Amit and escape. An acid leak has melted the floor. You must leap across the pit. 15 agility, you have 16. Got it. Yeah, cool. So is that our coordinates? 5, 1. Just to the right was 6, 1. Oh, I see an arrow. Switch is hidden. You pull it and hear metal grinding. You pry open the crate. Sandy gravel spills out. You find one something drain. You now heal life from vital hits. The wall is a holographic projection. You walk through it. You discover a shrine. Rows of effigies. Decorated ornate electrum altar. You find one jar. The bloodthirsty dramatar bellows. You've disturbed my home. I'll mangle you. Then I'll eat you. Uh, this guy may wreck us. Oh, we got him. That looks like a... Is that a pit? The urn is hewn from transparent crystal. It is nearly invisible. An object to stuff inside. You find a tapestry. That's a treasure. Chameleon bandit materializes behind you. Tries to pick your pocket. You have 17 agility. Your chance to avoid her is 30%. You fail. She steals three serum and disappears. You witch. Oh no, we might die. I'm he's probably gonna strike us first. Yep. Damn. Ah, we dead. You are killed. A thief drags your corpse into the dream tomb. You return to life. The thief stole twenty five percent of your debon, you lose thirty debon. Well that's not so bad. Actually that's better than having to reload saves. Down in Fool's Chamber, depicts the Prime Pharaoh having intercourse with a mutant woman. He appears proud and aloof. You're at the entrance of a massive freezer. Humanoid shapes lurk in its shadowy depths. The frozen food must draw them here. You'll encounter more enemies here. A hyena-headed Shayena cackles and saunters past. We probably shouldn't have done that. Let's get our 20 brawn. Okay. All right, so we should be able to break this collapsed rubble. The ceiling has collapsed. Tangle stone and conduit block the path. 20 required. We have 20. You heave the rubble aside. All right, what are you? The statue depicts a Yakara witch doctor. Its mouth is agape. An object is wedged inside. You find a doll. Found in the junction chamber, 6-2. Cybernetic implants animate the mummified snake. It writhes and bears its fangs. We have a cybernetic mummy snake. Oh, yes! We got a heal! Nice! You annihilate the enemy with no effort. Find no, 9 Debon. Nice! It's like walking into money. There's a break in the cable. You splice the loose ends back together. Okay. Well, let's rewire the... You counter enemy, you annihilate it. Or Devin. There we go. You twist the dial, the energy barrel barrier crackles and dies. Pick my door tie! Oh! <laughs> he did not respect. A fragment of carved crystal catches your eye. You find a shard. The operating table is crusted with blood. Streaks form the hieroglyphic for help. <laughs> Thought we were done playing horror games. Tablet. Let's see what the tablet has. No more pornographic pictures, right? Tablet found in the ruined chamber. Tablet contains words of steamy passion. Close enough. It is from the Prime Pharaoh to one of his feline lovers. Oh, he's into that, huh? Can we break this wall? 
No, that requires wit. We don't have any. Oh, we have brawn. Our massive strength. Our massive strength breaks it down. Lungs. Found in a prison chamber. The lungs are packed in a crystalline urn. They float in a perfumed soup of nutrients. Oh, they're actual lungs. I thought maybe they were, were talking like a respirator or something. The merchant shifts his pack and eyes you warily. Greetings, friend. Need supplies. Increasing wits reduces prices. You can choose to steal from him. Check that out. But we're in a shop. We... What's wood? Oh, it's a treasure. Ooh, what are you? A serpo pard. I don't know what our chances are going to be against this guy. He is very strong. You bump into an invisible object. There is something hidden here, but you cannot tell what it is. Heh. <laughs> Hieroglyphics are scrawled on the wall. It is, a sh it is shocking pornographic graffiti. You are trespassing on the turf of Marmoset Gang. It's <laughs> a theme in this game. Let's go see who this is. A hologram shimmers in the air. I am Khan E, the world's most beautiful holographic woman. Sit and chat with me, you handsome devil. You chat and learn that Khan E loves cute things. Try bringing her some. Protect enemies and avoid them. Hail, slave, accept your patronage. Statue disgorges items. You find two serum, two weapons, two radar, two web warps, and two tickets. Pays to be a slave, I guess. Huh. Radar detects the invisible chest. Inside is a crudely scribbled note. Proper proper tay of chameleon bandit. I watching you and I'm mad. You find fifty six Devin. Aha, we stole from the chameleon bandit. Hey, merchant. Let's get the oud. Thanks, friend. I'm going to go into these chambers here because these chambers give us a higher... It said there's more monsters in here. So basically, I'm going to grind this for a while. Weak enemies give no reward. All right. So let's warp. The account is weak now. Okay. Oh, man. 50-50. I don't know. We may not be able to take him. We're going to try. We're going to use gear. We're going to use our weapons. Well, he one-shot at us. You are killed. The priest bra drags your corpse to the dream to return to life. He stole 50% of your Devin. You lose 15. That's fine. We used all our money first. I think we can take this one. The scorpion got us. Life attack 16 each. We'll go ahead and use a weapon just to be sure. Toxic ooze. There we go. You enter the warp ovum and are bathed in antimatter. A vortex sucks you through the ether. Oh, is this going to allow us to warp... Oh, checkpoint. Now, can we warp back? Aha! Excellent. What are you? Got a weird cat. Set animal. What about you? Another smaller chest is nestled within. Small chest is packed with papyrus. A smaller chest is nestled within. Miniature chest is packed with papyrus. A smaller chest is nestled within. The tiny chest is packed with papyrus. Another chest, smaller, is nestled within. Wait, how many... What do you guys think's inside this? The chest is so small, you can barely hold it. You gingerly lift the latch with your fingernail. You find one salt. Found in the fountain chamber, on this simple grain of salt... The pictorial history of the River Kingdom is etched in rich detail. That is a pretty fancy grain of salt. Ooh, a giant roach. Well, he hits pretty hard. Scarabot. <laughs> well, this is different. 
Welcome to Warp Zone. Some valuables are stashed here. You find a dwarf. Connie, the world's most beautiful holographic woman. You show her the dwarf. She giggles with delight. Let us throw this dwarf back and forth. His tiny shrieks are funny and lovable. Toss me! Some kind of cipher. Let's see what this means. I got a feeling it's drink more Ovaltine. Figure peers through a hole in the ceiling. They sneer and hurl a boulder of petrified excrement at you. We want to see what's in the treasures. Let's dry, dive forward. You dive forward. It crashes behind you. The figure chortles and disappears back into the ceiling. Eww. There we go. Avoid Pyramid. My thoughts on this game. I really like this game. It harkens back to a lot of really old video games. Uh, and even some board games from dungeon crawl type stuff from back in the day. Even though there's role-playing elements with leveling and stats, it's not very difficult to understand. There's a lot of puzzles involved. We found out there was some cryptography. Prior to that, there have been some like different physical puzzles, memory puzzles. One thing that I also really like is that when you start the game, you have a choice as to what type of character you want to play. Each has a strength and a weakness. And then you have to kind of decide how you want to play the game. And there are several ways around most obstacles. Like that's a recurring theme where if you're not good at one thing, maybe you're good at something else. And there will be some where it's kind of a hard check of, well, you're, you need this much of this stat to get, to get by. Thankfully, though, as you fight enemies, you earn the money, you go back, and you can level that up. The treasures and the descriptions in this game, for being a pixelated, very small-looking game, has a lot of detail. Every little thing that looks out of place, you should inspect, because there's probably something there. All the treasures have some kind of unique and sometimes very funny uh, description, and they're very much worth checking out. I'm actually a little intrigued to see the rest of this game. Note that there is a little bit of grinding to do, but it has some modern day conveniences. It has checkpoints. I very highly recommend it. Void Pyramid. Go check it out.